Alright guys, we are back with another match. This is going to be game two with Mega Blastoise. Here's the deck profile. We have not switched anything. If you guys want to see the deck profile in real life, we'll provide a link down below. Also, a link down below with game um, one. We played against Aqua Patch Lapras. Very interesting match. If you guys have not seen it, I suggest go watching it. Very fun match. Um, by playing game one, I think I would somehow try to fit in a third Mega Turbo, but other than that, the deck is running pretty smooth. I mean, we've only played one game, but I just like to make, like, look for changes each match, no matter if it's game one, whatever. Just start looking for changes and what best fits your style. So, let's get into game two. Enough me chit chatting. I'm sure you guys want to see the power of Mega Blastoise. I know I do. I'm pumped, especially after game one. I'm not going to spoil anything, but we are playing against Grass. So, rip. This is probably not going to go too well. We got our rep in our Blastoise coin. We're going to do heads because we want Blastoise face up like that. And we're going to go first. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a good day because I'm playing Blastoise. Alright, so we can lead with a Blastoise. I'm interested in what he's playing. He could be doing just Lorantis. He could be doing just Decidueye Plume. I have no idea. And it's Lorantis. It might be Lorantis Plume as well. So, we got an Ultra Ball. And we got the Hoopa, which is not good. Because I want an Ultra Ball away at energy to start that. So, we're going to Hoopa. Yes. I think here we just get two and you, and then we will Shaman. We'll Ultra Ball for the Shaman to get some water in the discard. So, attach. Or attach bench bench and bench so we have room for one shaman so we're gonna ultra ball away energy and a stadium to get out shaman um, I'm not going to bench the stadium just yet because I want to get rid of his giant or forest plants so we're just going to attach and then shaman for only four. I'm fine with four. I want to keep my stadiums, even though I discarded one. But we have three left, hopefully. And we can attach for a turn. And then we are going to in, because I don't want to lose <laughs> a Mega Blastoise. And okay, not bad, not bad. We have no spirit links though, which is eh, not good. So I think we'll just pass with that. If we had Spirit Links, this would be a pretty good hand because we could Mega Blastoise, we could Ultra Ball for another Blastoise, Verse Seeker for in, and do work, but... He's gonna Sycamore way entire hand. Ooh, that was bad. He has two Revitalizers though, that's pretty good. I like that. So he's going to get heads twice and get two Lorantis. Not good because he probably has the stadium. He's going to be... I don't know if we'll be able to keep up with this, guys. Um, especially with Lorantis because he's going to have power supply. And he just hits us for weakness. So I mean, we're going to do all we can. But I'm not giving up. But it's going to be tough. This is why I'm scared... Because Quad Lapras has been my main deck recently, and I'm really enjoying it, and I really enjoy Blastoise, but just grass, I wonder if there's just going to be too much grass in the format for Blastoise or Lapras. I mean, I don't think Blastoise is going to be too common anyway, but I just the grass just definitely says no. So, this is tough. 
So do we just Ultra Ball away? I think we do. Away Hex and a Water. I think we just fail. We Aqua Patch on um, this one. Then we're going to Verse Seeker for N because I don't have a Spirit Link. We're going to give him more cards, but got to do what we got to do, guys. So, Trainer's Mail, Spirit Link, Spirit Link, Spirit Link. Nope, no Spirit Link. Oh, man. I guess we will get the Verse Seeker. It's not looking good, guys. Not looking good. So, we are going to Ultra Ball away Lysander Sycamore. We're going to get our Mega and just Mega Evolve for turn. Not what I want to do, but... We have to somewhat try to keep up with him, and there's no way in general. So, we're going to Mega Evolve, ends our turn, and he's Hello. going... Hello, look what I'm playing against. Whoa! So we, uh... Fun fact, I don't like those. Did you know that? No, oh, you, no. you don't like Twinkies? No, I'm weird. He gets two heads again! This man is on fire! Except not the bad type of fire that hurts grass Pokemon. I mean, that would be good for you. I'm, yeah. There's just, there's no way we can keep up with his power supply and hitting for weakness, so... Rip. Blastoise, he had a good run? No. <laughs> Blastoise will always be my main, my main dude. So he's gonna destroy us. Like, at this point, he doesn't even need Plume, like... You can just go straight Lorantis. He's gonna get the Shaman. The only way to really... You could win against this. Um, it, there's a lot of if factors so like if you can set up fast enough and he has shamans on the bench plus you can do 30 to the plume and the next turn Lysander it for KO so very easy to get rid of plume which is nice oh, hey now we get the spirit link and plumes there so we can't do anything else. So we, we're, we're pretty much done. <laughs> um, we're going to do 30 to the plume just in case we top deck Lysander. And we'll do 30 to the Fomantis just in case he doesn't evolve it. And we can get an easy knockout. Oh, this is not good. He's going to knock us out next turn and we're pretty much done. Yep. This guy is probably loving this match right now. So we're just going to we'll get we'll let him knock out all our blast sources, make him earn it somehow. Killing all my main dudes. <laughs> we draw a burst seeker. Yay! So we're just gonna pass and he's gonna knock us out. Or he's gonna do his GX attack and just rub it in our face for 460. Woo! And that is why I am hesitant on playing water decks because grass is still a thing granted quad well quad lapras would still have a hard time with this deck because we can discard his energies but then he can just power supply it back so eh, I'm not sure but this is why I'm very hesitant on water grass is still around it's gonna be around for a while as long as plumes here probably still will stay after plume who knows but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to show some love to that thumbs up button comment down below if you guys would make any changes to the deck if you're trying the deck and you enjoy it just let me know down below but I hope you guys are having an awesome day and remember stay jolly